What's up guys, Press Young here, back for another video and today I'm going to talk about whether iPad Pro 10.5 inch is worth in 2020 and of course it's one of the comments they comment that you should do an iPad Pro full depth review on the 2017 model so I will do it today obviously it's during the weekends as I already comment to him just around this Saturday Sunday so it's so it's Sunday, so I'm free. So today I'm going to talk about the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, whether or not it's worth in 2020 and should you buy in 2020. Now, for this iPad, I got it back in 2018. I didn't buy it in 2017 because the time I'm, I I only got Android phone on, and then an iPad Air with old one, but I want to get a new one. So I bought this model. And also in 2018, the new 2018 iPad Pro also released, but because of the band gates, it's at, I choose the correct device, which is the this 10.5 inch. However, it came in a weaker processor compared to the latest one, but it doesn't matter. This is a very good iPad. So, when you jump into settings and we go to about, obviously it's my iPad. And it's running on iPad OS 14, model name, iPad Pro 10.5 inch, just to reconfirm. And it's running on iPad OS 14 beta 2, so obviously it's not stable, you can see the bugs here. Okay, when we don't talk about software, we're going to talk about hardware-wise. So this iPad, and it comes... Wait, give me a sec, because it's going to fall down, okay. So this iPad is has two sizes during 2017. It's 10.5 inch, it has a 12.9 inch. The 10.5 inch was actually its first generation. It was the first time I did Apple ditch it and become 11 inch, which is kind of sad, but I know why they introduced 10.5 because in 2016, they introduced the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. So I think they put a massive other 10.5, it's worth it. Now the reason, and they also put back the base model 10.3. Which is also a great thumbs up for Apple. Now, next, next one is that it has a battery of 8134 mAh battery. If you go to gsmarena.com, you can see it has 8134 10.5 inch screen. It has 12 megapixel camera, it's only got a single camera, and it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is the same as the 2018. If you buy 2020 iPad Pro, then it will be 6 gigabytes of RAM. Obviously, it's available on both. Or, 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 uh, like if you want to buy in the Amazon, it's also available in 256 and final truck gear by option if you want to take it. Um, it's using the Apple Pencil first generation. I don't own, I didn't own any Apple Pencil because I feel I didn't use it much, so I don't buy it. And and it's great. Overall, this iPad is great. It has a 120 hertz refresh aid, but Certain games only supported during that year, like 2017, 2018. In, in those as supported, then they can have this kind of 120. But because the iPad O 2020, Fortnite only supports on the device because they think that that device is more optimized compared to that. So if you want to buy this, this device, you have to either go go to machine if you ask them whether they could sell or not. Or you go to Amazon, go to eBay to check whether they could sell it or not. Now, this, my one is a space gray option. If you want to get the gold, you can get rose gold, you can get silver, go to the website and find it out. And of course, I will put a link in the description below if you want, so I can, so you guys do need to go to the Amazon website and search for it. Yeah. So you want to check the specs, you can go gsmarena.com, which is easier to check the specs, or you can go Apple's technical support, which just has all the specs right here. It has Wi-Fi and cellular. If you want to take cellular, you can take cellular. Obviously, the year the the charger is using 12 watts, so if you use 10.5, it's no problem. 12.9, you need a, the faster charger to charge the iPad. Depends it. Is that it? A10 finish, of course it's 64, and it has M10 Comper as an inside. It has all those features. And the good thing is that this camera on the iPad Pro is actually using the iPhone 7. So which is great. And it has the the opti optical stabilization. Well, 2018 doesn't have it. I think 2020 put it back. I top. So it has auto HDR, timer, photography, video recording, and 4K, which is great, 30 frames per second. Face FaceTime, everything is also available. It's SIM cards only if you use the 
the same in for your uh when you buy the cellular version yes touch id second generation we same as 6s iphone 7 iphone 8 but i just had some in a are using a different touch id so it's different they have the apple pay a as well if you want to use it feel free to use it yes cv when on ios 14 the cv is like this why is the weather today there you go so this is the new cv e in ipos 14 you can get it if you update it you want to use the pi beta uh, it's easy you on the beta profile you go to search and you can get the beta profile and i'll put the link in the description below if you want the beta profile and the pi beta as well and all performance is great when i play like this is great however ipos 14 if you want to install be mind that the storage is also be affected uh, because when you jump into ipad storage the others is taking a lot. You can see that. Scroll down. Fifteen point nine three on others. System Apple only fixed the system update, but they didn't fix the others. So it's the cache. And then remove. If you want to remove, you can either restart the iPad or restore the iPad or restore the iPhone to get more storage back, or delete your game and reinstall if your system is connected to Facebook or anything else. Now, this is what I know about this iPro. I think this is more it's worth it. You can still get a three years of support update because Apple still use the O18 fusion chip, which means that you can get out of iOS 16 and you can go all up to iOS, uh, iOS 16. And this guy can have got to one more with iOS 17 or iOS 18 because Apple will push more features on the next update with iOS 15 and the bug fits and stability and iOS 16. However, today, it did, uh, this last month, we're pretty surprised that Apple actually bring more features to the iPad OS, which is great. And even the widget, they change it, which is also oh, amazing. They want to make sure that this is, is a laptop experience, but because that's only available for 2020 iPad Pro, but, it, but it's great to see that Apple actually focus it which is amazing and I'm very happy about that. I'll get the latest one, but I will not get the 2020 iPad Pro because we know that in 2021, Apple will release a new iPad Air Pro, which is amazing. And not only that, the base iPad Pro will get 10.8 inch in 2021, hopefully, if we can get it. And hopefully, it's a laminated display because if you want to have a 10.8 inch so big, it has to be laminated and because it wants to... Same. But just reduce the pixels and you can compensate a 329 US dollar offer or I think it might be expensive with 399 It depends on it. So yeah, if you obviously this is the box if you buy from Amazon, this is will be the box. It's a 64 gigabyte model. My one's a Wi-Fi model, it's not the it's not the other models that you get it. You can get the wallpaper. Obviously, if you update RS14, those wallpapers are still existed because it belongs to the iPad. And this is the default wallpaper if you want to use it. Here it is. You're welcome. And we got others one. This is that you go for the gold wallpaper. You can use it anytime you want. I'm gonna switch it back because I love this wallpaper. This is actually when I caught my I was my first iPad, I quickly switched to this wallpaper because it's great and awesome. And of course, subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell if you want me to do another worth it video in late 2020 on this iPad. Now see you in the next video if Apple release iPad OS 14 beta 3.